A man who's being targeted for death by Muslim extremists worldwide is in Philadelphia tonight. In fact, a Montgomery County woman known as Jihad Jane remains behind bars on charges she conspired to kill him. So what did he do to incite this violence? It all has to do with a cartoon. Action News reporter Vern Odom interviewed the artist today at an undisclosed location. How can you... Lars Vilks, the maverick Swedish artist, has been under death threats for three years, the target of a fatwa, accused of blasphemy by Islamic extremists for his series of drawings depicting the Prophet Muhammad as a dog. Still, I'm, I'm worth $150,000, so, so um, um, yeah. It's a bounty on your head. Yeah, that's, that's what you can get from me. Colleen Rose, a.k.a. Jihad Jane from Montgomery County, is one of eight people now under arrest over an alleged international plot to assassinate Vilks. Vilk's free press appearance scheduled at the Union League was canceled over security concerns. We were asked not to disclose Vilk's whereabouts in Philadelphia. He's guarded by federal and local security agents during his North American tour. He says he's an artist entitled to create freely without fear. The nature of art is transgression and provocation. You have to question what you already have. I mean, so, so if you're into art, this, is, this can be the outcome and you have to accept it. From what is described as America's premier Muslim advocacy group, the word is tolerance of the unrepentant Lars Vilks. Obviously the picture was distasteful, but he has the absolute right to do that. Uh, his life should not be uh, threatened. I'm sorry that it is. CARE's local director says Al-Qaeda does more overall harm than Vilks. In their supposed defense of the Prophet Muhammad, they smear his name more than any cartoon can ever do. It can't get worse. I mean, I, I have a death threats and I have all these things. So, so if I make 20 more, I mean, it would not change anything. Lars Vilks expects to be back here in Philadelphia this spring, called as a key witness at Jihad Jane's trial, which is now set to begin on May the 2nd at the federal courthouse in Center City. Vernon Odom, Channel 6 Action News.